it is 906 and OU still sucks. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am really excited to bring you along this weekend. I am headed to Dallas to meet up with my dad and we are going to the Texas Oklahoma football game. It's a tradition that we started when I graduated from college because he also went to UT and so we meet up in Dallas. He lives in San Antonio so he drives up to Dallas. I fly in and we spend the weekend together. It's nice to have just some father-daughter time, cheer on our longhorns and hopefully beat Oklahoma. I am about to head to the airport. The flight is about four hours, but I have some work to do on the plane. And to be honest, I don't really mind flying and I have some Southwest Street coupons. So I made it through security super fast. If you have ever considered doing TSA pre-check, I cannot recommend it enough. It is the best decision I ever made. It's $85 for five years. You do have to go to like this very quick interview. Hopefully your city has a convenient location. Mine did, it took 10 minutes. It just makes getting through the airport so much smoother and so much faster. So I have time to kill, which is awesome. First I stopped for some coffee because I did not sleep well last night. The new Erin Condren Folios launched this morning. Well, they don't launch till Tuesday, but we could share them this morning. And so I stayed up late to post the video and then I've been replying to comments and it's it's been so much fun, but I didn't sleep well so I needed some coffee and then I needed to find an outlet I thought my computer was charging overnight but it wasn't and so I'm sitting here charging it until the last possible second so that I can use it on the plane I made it the flight was good I ended up sitting next to two people who went to the University of Oklahoma of course and now I'm at the Dallas Airport and I'm trying to find one of those like water fountains that has this space for your water bottle and I cannot seem to find one I thought that was like common thing now in airports crazy story before we got on the plane they were telling us that we needed a board quicker and I couldn't really figure out why and someone finally got on the loudspeaker and said that the president is going to be in New York airspace and if we don't get boarded and leave before he gets there then we're gonna be delayed like an hour I've never seen people board a plane so quickly we got on and we got up and now we are like 30 minutes early we are headed to dinner we usually do sushi at least one of the nights that we're here and we were going to go to this little hole in the wall but decided against it we didn't necessarily trust their wine list he didn't trust their wine list so we are headed to an old faithful. It is called the Bluefish. It's just outside of Dallas and they have great sushi, tons of options. They have these cool rolls like wrapped in vegetables and just lots of great options. you can see this through the screen but the ball in Dallas which is part of the Dallas skyline has lit up OU and UT and as it rotates it alternates between the two schools how cool is that station waiting to get on the train so we can head down to the state fair. Normally we don't get to the game quite this early but college game day is going to be there today so we thought we would get down there and join in the excitement. The Texas humidity has already pretty much killed my hair. I'm not even sure why I bothered but uh, I'm excited for today and hug them horns. So every year Texas and Oklahoma play at the Cotton Bowl which is here in Dallas and it's played on a neutral field so one team is technically home but it's not home for either. In fact within like 10 miles or something it's exactly halfway between the two schools. But the coolest thing about the Cotton Bowl is it's actually surrounded by Fair Park which is where the Texas State Fair is and it's always going on at the same time as the game. So we are walking into the fair. Normally we'll walk around, maybe play some games, get some ridiculous fried food, but we are on the hunt for college game day. Give them hell, give them hell. Oh, you suck. Their enthusiasm in check and their leaders in check to get back to the specifics of the game. You have to control your emotions. Emotions run high in this game, but those teams would always say two things. Thousands of fans descend on Dallas to form a 50-50 split. Crimson red. And orange. All roaring to claim the 
Golden Hat. ridiculously fried. My dad got fried Oreos and I got a fried s'more. I can't even, oh, oh. I'm making a giant mess and I am so sunburnt. So we started nutrition the very first year we came. Texas was not ranked and Oklahoma was like easily top 10 and Texas beat them out of nowhere. So we decided to go celebrate and get some steak. But now it's just tradition. So Texas won again today and we are headed in to get some steak. All right, that is it. My dad just dropped me off at the airport and now it is time to head home. We had such an incredible weekend. It's honestly one of my favorite weekends of the whole year. It's just such a fun tradition that my dad and I have. We spent the morning just sort of relaxing, hanging out, predicting what Texas' new rank will be now that they beat a top 10 team. Now it's time to head home and then watch the Cowboys tonight. We're a house divided because Sam is a Texans fan, so go Cowboys. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please give it a thumbs up. I love doing these travel vlogs. I love bringing you along with me on my trip. I will probably keep doing them because I like the memories. I like having these things documented and being able to look back on them. If you are new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching.